Hello everybody, uh, it's me again. Uh, so in the last video, what we've done is that explain the concepts of code location. In this video, I'm gonna show you, we're gonna create the app and then enable it to use code location, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and create new, a new project. Uh, okay, I need to be an Xcode file, new project. And just select a single view application. Then I'm going to say core location video. Okay, and let me click on next. Leave it on the desktop for now, and then we create, click on okay. All right, the first thing we need to do is that we need to include the frameworks for uh, core location and map kit. And then the way you do this, you click on the project, and then here you have include framework, and you do core location. And select that, then add another one for the map later on. I'm going to use here, could just type in map kit. Right. Then we're done with that. All right. The next thing is that we need to conclude the keys in the P list. So if you click in here and then you go to the info P list, and then we add new two key values here. Okay. And then we click on the first one. Now, I don't, just to avoid mistakes, I've already done them there. Instead of retyping them, I'm going to copy those. The first one, which is, and I'll show you what that is. And then let me copy the second one. And then copy that. Okay. All right. What these are, like just I explained in the PowerPoint, uh, when it's in usage and which, when it's always in usage. Okay. And explain, I explained this in the PowerPoint. This is when it's in usage, allow you to run it and to use the GPS or core, core location while it, the app running in the foreground. And this is when it's running in the background, always. Okay. So now we need to go to the view controller. And we need to do a few things in here. First, we need to include core data. So you just do core data import. Core data. Oh, sorry, core location. Okay. And then we need to make this class conform to the location manager protocol, as as you recall from the PowerPoint presentation. So we need to say CLL location manager delegate. All right. So this conform to the delegate of the location manager. The next thing I need to define my location manager. So I'm going to say var location manager. And then I'm going to equal equal to CLL location manager. Okay. All right. The next thing is that we want to require authorization. So first, we before the authorization, we need to set the delegate of the location manager. So I say location manager dot delegate equal self, which is the class that I've just created. All right. This is the delegate. Remember, this delegate was just added here, so we're making the location manager delegate my class. Then we do location manager that we need to request authorization. So I'm going to request uh, when it's in usage authorization. All right. The last thing I need to do here is that I need to start updating. So start getting positioning from the GPS. So we're going to say start location manager, location manager dot start updating all right all right so we're okay the next piece is that we need to implement the delegate methods or functions that confer that we want to use in our application so that what i'm going to do first is just add uh, some of those let's look uh, take a look at those, some of those and then look uh, and use one of them which is if you start typing in location manager so you have this one that is in particular that's important to us, which is did update location. So you're moving from one location to another location and you got the coordinate of the new location. All right, there are other few ones here, but this is the one, let me implement this first and then we'll go back to the other ones to show you what are the other ones available here. So if you say location manager again, if you start at the bottom top here, uh, whenever you change authorization, this method is, uh, it gets fired. Uh, this is an imp this is a one that is important when you enter a region or when you leave a region. So you have 
there's something called geofencing. So if you're monitoring a particular area, and when you enter that area, you can define these areas. And then uh, when you enter a particular area, these methods or functions are fired. Uh, there is something related to beacons. Again, beacons use core location. Uh, those ones that are not familiar with beacons, beacons are like uh, the Bluetooth tags that you put in indoor and allow you to uh, monitor your location based on these uh, those uh, I beacons that you set in your uh, location. All right. All right. Uh, there is another one that is again updated update locations, so you can get an array of locations, and then you the first one would be your last one. All right. But for now, we're just interested in that one that I just showed you. All right. So here, what happens now? We say I want to make sure that this method is fired, and I will get the location in a minute. So I'm going to say print line uh, got location. Okay. Okay, and let's see what happens. So if I put that in here and then run it, I should. We have an error here. What's this error? Oh. Okay. I should, when the application runs, it should give me, you want to, I got my location here. Do you see that? And then you say continue. Continue. I got a location. All right. All right, what's the next thing we need to do? The next thing we need to do is that we need to say, well, how do we use these locations? What do, the, what do they contain? Or well, what they contain is your coordinates. So if I say got location, and if I say here, um, my location is, there's a new location. Do you see this, this parameter, new location? If you say new location, dot coordinate, dot latitude, that will give you the latitude, okay? And then if you wanna say, Comma, same thing, but with long longitude. Okay, command copy, and then command V, and then you do longitude. All right, so now if we run it, you'll see that Got locations, got location. Here's the latitude and longitude. Now, I want to show you if we go to the debug and then you go to location, you can specify where do you, want, you want your location. You can have your custom location. So, from here, you can do custom location. And I have already some here. So, if I hit OK, now this is my new location that I'm getting data on. Now, the GPS is always running, it got, it's getting locations all the time. Well, Maybe you don't want to get locations all the time. Maybe you want to get location only one time to save your battery. So you can have your own uh, algorithm if you want to see when do you need the to get your position so you don't have the GPS running all the time. So what you can do, you can say location manager. That once I got my location, you can say stop location. Stop or stop updating my location. Okay. All right, that's, so it, when I get my location, I stop. So I don't need to get it all the time, all right? So this is one. The other thing that you can do is that you can define a variable here, say this variable, let's say var, uh, say position or my position. And then you can say equal to CL location coordinate 2D and that will give you the, your coordinates. From here, you can say, when you get the location, you just say my position equal to the new location that coordinates, okay? And the coordinate will have in it the longitude and latitude. So you got my I got my location, I stop, I don't need to check anymore. Now, if you wanna continue, you can have another trigger to turn on the GPS again, start updating, and then again you do the same thing. So you have, now if you run it, you'll see it got a location, it stopped. It doesn't continue anymore, okay? So if I have a button, let me just show you, if I have a button here, you click on it, it starts, and then when it, it, it gets, uh, it, it starts again if you want to, 
this is one way to do it. So let's go back to the view controller, add to the main storyboard, and add two things, okay? Let me make this smaller. All right, what I'm going to do here, let's add a button to just show you how it works. Uh, where is the button here? We have a button, let's add a label. This label will have the position, and then this one will have a button that does stop and start, okay? So a button, okay, this one will allow me, okay, start again. All right, and uh, let's just put it, uh, let's just do these two things quickly here. I'm gonna make that as an action, star GPS. Okay, and this one, label, label, location. Okay. All right, and then if we go back to the GPS, to this, if you go back in here, and in the method that I just included, all I have to do in here, just simply say, uh, location manager dot start updating, okay? And in here, we wanna put it, we wanna give the coordinates, so instead of this, I'm going to say, lbl, dot text equal since we already got it here uh, I'm gonna copy that put it in here command copy command V then just remove these things here. all right no need for this location just just you get the coordinates all right. And uh, now you get that. You start. It gets it again, but it stops. Right. But uh, let's see how you change it. So if you go back to here to location manager, and uh, now I'm gonna uh, change. I'm gonna go to city bicycle ride. These are preset. Now if I click on start again, I got a different coordinate. All right. So it's up to you how you want to do it, but uh, this is how you get your position in your uh, in your application. Now, what you can do with this, you can do a lot with it. Okay, you can put these points into a map. We will do that later on. You can send these to a web services, and then you pass the information, and then based on these coordinates, they send you back any stores close to you, or any shops, or any whatever you want restaurants. So based on these two coordinates, you can do many things with it. And that's what it is. You hear a lot of the apps called location-based app awareness or location-based awareness. Uh, uh, you know, so you're aware where you are all the time. The way it works, you get these coordinates, you send it to some sort of a server. The server monitors your locations where you've been and then sends them back, uh, send you back information to your app. All right? That is the first video, and then we will continue another one with the uh, with the map kit. Okay.